Good evening viewers, I'm Godwin Eki and welcome to another episode of House and Home. Hope you all enjoyed your weekend and are now geared up for another hard working week. There are a lot of events going to happen throughout this year so please do keep an eye out for that because you really don't want to miss out on anything especially the 2015 Pacific Games. Anyways, for this episode we have more editions of Healthy Living with Miller, Cooking with Zeneg, Mace Edition, more on Brian Bell, Animal Place, Travel with House and Home and Place Vilang Yumi. Well, to start off tonight's show, we have the ever-devoted company Brian Bell, so let's join Jane and Mark to show what they have in store for tonight. Welcome to the Brian Bell Home Center where you can find all your necessary household appliances. I have Jane here tonight who will be featuring the Fisher & Paykel freezers. Hi Jane. Hi Mark. Hi viewers. Freezers are essential household products that we need to make life convenient for us. That is why you have to make the right choice when it comes to quality brands. Here at Brian Bell we offer a variety of renowned quality brand names that you can trust. So Jane, what are the ranges or the sizes that are available to, right now? Right, these freezers are available in various sizes from a 160 litre for domestic use to a huge 700 litre capacity for commercial use. What will happen if I don't have the money up front? If you don't have the money up front or your budget doesn't allow you, then do not worry because we've made it more convenient for you so you can purchase through our consumer credit scheme which is available at all our brand well outlets nationwide. You said the uh, consumer credit scheme? The consumer credit scheme was created to make shopping convenient for those who couldn't pay up front but can pay on a fortnightly basis. The scheme is available in all Brian Bell outlets nationwide. You can also purchase goods from ESCO, Belltech and other retail outlets covering building materials, computer consumables, poultry and sawmilling through the Brian Bell Consumer Credit Scheme. So if you're interested, visit any of our Brian Bell Home Centre for more information. When it's volume, you're after the Fisher & Paykel range offers you unbeatable long-term food storage. Whoa, long-term food storages, what do you mean by that? Well, it is ideal for people who buy in bulk and for those who want to avoid frequent shopping trips. If you're a fisherman in the village, then this would be a necessity to boost your business. Since most schools have started, ice blocks would be on demand. Hold on, I really love ice blocks. How many do you think I can fit in here? More than you can eat in a year. More than I can eat in a year? Yes. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> It would be perfect for the small businessmen and women in the informal sector to be able to keep their products colder for a longer time. If you're a trade store owner and after volume, then the 360 litre, 510 litre or the 700 litre is what you need for your shop. With what's it worth, you will be enjoying this product for a very long time. They are designed to handle the toughest conditions with a zinc coated steel casing and are built to last. They feature easy to open lightweight lid, stackable freezer baskets for good storage, clever defrost drain outlets for simple defrosting, interior light that activates on door opening, handy power on indicator. Our hot special includes this Fisher & Paykel freezers. The competition benefited every shopper who spends 50 kina for every 50 kina they spend at any of the Brian Bell home centres. Thank you for those of you who have participated and congratulations to our seven lucky winners for the fourth weekly draw. 
The two winners for the 5,000 Kina gift vouchers will be announced on next week's House and Home Brand Belt segment and will be advertised in our daily newspapers. So come and enjoy shopping at Brian Bell. So now you know you can turn to us simply because you're backed up by Brian Bell's warranty, service and spare parts. So remember, great products, great prices. That's Brian Bell. Best price. So see Best you next quality. time everyone. Guaranteed. Happy shopping. Thank you for that Jane and Mark for that delightful insight into the Fisher and Pikeville chest freezers available at the Bryanville centers. To know more of this product, please make your way to your nearest Bryanville center. Let's go for our first break and we'll catch up soon. Talk about the better man for your life with house and home. Yeah, it's all about the Now we will be joined by Chef Beari and Raylene John to see what they are cooking for Zenex May edition. Enjoy. Hello viewers, me like talk. Welcome to the Plajine Cooking Show on MTV. Okay. Now recipe blame by me cooking my more Zenex chicken stew. We by me using Zenex chicken. Mama Kakarok stew in pieces. But before you start the cooking, blame me like ask him Raylin on Zinek to explain him more on this la Mama Kakarok. Okay, Raylin, you know, you explain him lo Zinek Mama Kakarok, blame me. Hello, viewers. Welcome again, lo cooking show, blame me. Um, you mean by using Zinek st uh, chicken stewing? Uh, Zinek st uh, chicken stewing um, come long uh, Mama Kakarok. Mama Kakarok and um, Mr. Lame commercially eating eggs. All eggs where you miss a buy lo stop lo kai kai. Okay. So time you cook him, you must cook it long plat time lick lick. Yes. So I'm talking about some buy me cook long plat time lick lick. This lah buy me must cook him some half an hour and about. So I'm buy. Jinek chicken mama kakaruk buy him go malo malo spread. Okay. I'm just all ready. Okay. Now buy me go lo cook him buy me. Okay. Jinek chicken miss a juicy because a meatier, tastier and a juicier. Okay. Now buy me add him oil go inside. Two tablespoons oil. Okay, one plate big plate onion when we chop and finish. Okay. Chani onion. Okay, this is one plate easy recipe. So you can enjoy what the family blue or lunch or dinner blue. Okay, time onion work. Look, question by me Adam. Make it blue me good set. Salt. Okay, pepper. Okay, time for this light green smoke to cook now. By me, Adam. This is Mama Kakarok blame me. I'm going to slow stew in pieces. So you can look him and he pull up little meat tassel. That's why I'm going to use this is chicken tassel. Okay, now I'm going to cook this now. By me, Adam. All this is chicken Mama Kakarok pieces blame me. Okay. We need the motion now. We need one plus there. Okay, now by me, add my favorite garden vegetables. Blame you can look in corn, cow cow, a plum of corn, okay, potato, now banana. Okay, choco leaf. Then buy me putin. Okay, now yet buy me putin. Coconut cream, buy me one set. Okay, now buy me larem zinc. Mama karuk steam pieces, buy me by cook for some thirty minutes. Now buy me rosin. Now cook good through. Now 
and by meat blend, by come out of bone blend. So you can enjoy one time. Okay, now by me give one plus step first time, you can look him. Oh, Jinek. Oh, Mama Karuk, still this is him. Mok lo go tender now. Okay, all vegetables to him cook now. Okay. Now by me add him all choco go inside, choco leaves. Okay, by me put it on top. Time choco cook now. You mean by rousing. Okay, now by me let him Jinek mama karuk stew and pieces by cook for 15 minutes. Now you mean by rousing. Okay, viewers, now you can look at more of a Jinek chicken stew. Let me ready now. Okay, by me rousing. Rousing more cow cow. So we talk this lamb on the fast. Simple recipe where you can enjoy with a family blend. Now to Jinek mama karuk stew and pieces. I'm going to have a good price where you can meet in budget blend. So next time you go to the store, to some jinek chicken, mama kakaruk taso. Okay. That's some from cow cow. Okay. Banana. Okay, now you may add more jinek. Chicken stew, blame me. Okay. All right, viewers, you can look him. More of a Zinek chicken stew with me is in Zinek Mama Kakaru stew and pieces. Zinek chicken, meatier, tastier, not juicier. And that was cooking with Zinek, and I must say, what an interesting and delicious recipe was that, Chef Biari. Viewers, if you want to see it again, go to our House and Home Facebook page and do note it down as a recipe to try out. Don't go anywhere as more coming up on House and Home after this break. Talk about the better man for your life with house and home. Yeah, it's all about the better man. Les Bilong Yumi is hosted once again by Mark Gone Jr. who will feature the new Life Skills Training Center. So let's see what he has found out. Hi viewers, I'm Mark Gwena Jr. and welcome to this edition of Ples Belong Yumi. Now, some episodes ago, I had the pleasure of learning more about City Mission's history, its accomplishments, and the carpentry skills which are taught here at the New Life Skills Training Center are being used for. So for tonight, Ples Belong Yumi will feature the New Life Skills Training Center once again to learn more about why and how City Mission farms its livestock. And for us to learn more about this, we have to welcome back Pastor Kurt Trich, who can take us through this. Welcome back, Pastor Kurt. Thank you. Good to have you back on the show. Thank you. <laughs> so, Pastor Kurt, can you tell us, what is the purpose of City Mission having its own farm livestock? Yes, I can. The purpose is that we sustain ourselves with protein, sustainable protein, for City Mission Farm here, our office in Koki, where we put boys up there that's finished the program, and also house root. Okay. So Pastor Kurt, what farm animals are your biggest support when it comes to distribution of livestock to your other centers? Uh, chickens and the pigs. What are some of the farm animals that you are planning on introducing into the farm? Um, our next farm animals should be goats. We, we got goats coming in. Also, um, egg layers, and ducks. So let's go and have a look at the farm animals, huh, Pastor Kurt? Great, let's go. So Pastor Kurt, I believe this is the poultry section of the farm, right? Right. Okay, where do you guys get your chiclets from? Well, 
Um, every week we buy a hundred. We buy them from Chemica. They flew in from Roy. And you guys get donated some from other companies yes, as well? Yes, uh, Zenit donated uh, 24 boxes oh, wow. to us. They had an oversupply and they donated 24 boxes. Oh, how generous of them. It was real nicely <laughs> generous. Oh, <laughs> and uh, I'm just curious to know, what are the stages these chickens have to go through before they go into their uh, untimely demise? Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, we start them out at one week. Okay. And then they go to two weeks three weeks, four weeks, five weeks here, six weeks. And at six weeks we can slaughter, but it depends on the demand we have um, for our feeding. If we don't need them, we let them go up to eight weeks, then we slaughter them and put them up in the uh, freezers and distribute them. Okay. And how do you take care of them? Well, just every day. Twice a day, the boys come and they water in the morning and they feed in the morning every day. And once a week, every pen we change the sawdust in and we shift them from one pen to another. Depending on how old they are, right? Well, the, every Monday I'll buy 100. Oh, okay. So every week we got to shift. So these guys were in here at the beginning of the week, like yesterday, mm -hmm. and so we slaughtered on Tuesday and so they cleaned the shift and it just shift shift all shift the shift all the way to the end and the <laughs> end is the end okay great so me and pasta cat were about to go to the piggery farm but when i looked at the back of the poultry i saw the uh rabbits these adorable looking rabbits and i couldn't help myself but to just come over and say hello to them and these i'm pretty sure are the males the white one here and the black one here but that one there that's the female, right there. As you can see, she probably has a problem with her eye because they fight a lot. These three rabbits, they fight a lot, so. But yeah, just look how adorable these rabbits are. I'm just, I feel like I want to still want to take one home. <laughs> but anyway, let's go back to Pasta Kurt. He's probably waiting for us. So Pastor Kirk, I can see now that we are here at the piggery section of the farm, right? Right. Okay, um, just look by, just by looking at all these pig, I can just see that they're really well taken care of. Can you please explain the process of how you guys take care of them until they're untimely demire? Every day we have a crew, Monday through Sunday, come out and first thing we do is water them and feed them in the morning. And every pen is watered, every pig is washed, and it's a two-day process. In the morning we do it, in the afternoon we do the same thing. We wash them and feed them every day. And so um, we started out with just four pigs and we end up having 31 pigs now. A just simple process of making space and feeding and taking care of them, giving them a little worm medicine every couple of months. And, and that's the ten, you know, that's the extent of us having pigs. There's like a lot of them right now. Yeah, we have 31. <laughs> we started out with four pigs, and just um, first one was a bush pig that I bought, and bush pig stayed in my house, and my wife got cross, so I had to put them outside, <laughs> and uh, we got blessed with four Australian pigs, and from them four, we multiplied to 31 right now. Now, Pastor Kurt, apart from what you've said, I can just, from behind us, there's this like big pig. He's like really big. How far have you guys gone about feeding him into what he is right now? When he first came, he was pretty huge, but with us taking really good care of him, he really got real big. He had a mate that was the same size as him, was a female, and we breeded him and so we started out with 11 siblings and it kept multiplying, kept multiplying. And also we have a crossbreed of Australian pig and bush pig. 
And we have some of the siblings sitting right here in front of us. And what is his name? Does we he have call, a name? Yes, we call him the man. The man. Yes, so the he's man. the man of this he's farm. He's the man of the pig pen, <laughs> the piggery. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Kurt, for being on the show. Can't wait for us to do another Plus Belong You Me. And viewers, if you do want to see the pig, the man, or any of the other farm animals seen on tonight's edition, please head down to the New Life Skills Training Center located 20 to 30 minutes outside of Port Mosby. Pastor Kurt, Reverend Brown, or even the boys are going to be willing and happy to give you a grand tour. And that's it we have for tonight's folks. Until next time, I'm Marco Nagina, and this has been another edition of Plus Belong You Me. A big thank you to City Mission for your constant help in improving the lives of many Papua New Guineans in your special ways. More editions of Ples Bilangumi is coming up next week, so stick around for that. Travel with House and Home is coming up next after the break, so stay tuned. Talk about the better man for your life with house and home. Yeah, it's all about the better A very good evening to you all, wherever you're tuning in from around the country. Welcome to this edition of Travel with House and Home. We're always glad to showcase to you places and accommodations around Papua New Guinea in case you wish to travel to these areas for vacation or business. I'm Godwin Eki, and for this edition of Travel with House and Home, we showcase to you an island that's known for its seafood, from crayfish to barramundi and many more, you name it. Only one hour, 10 minutes flight from the National Capital District, Port Mosby, is the little island of Daru in the Western Province. Now, Daru has few accommodations for hotels to suit your budget, where you can choose from to make your holiday more memorable. Now, I was lucky enough to stay at the Cross Nest Hotel in Daru, which is about three to five minutes drive from the Daru airport, and this is what they have to offer. <music> We have two beds, that's the double bed and a single bed there. And we have a fridge here, as you can see, and the TV. And we have the coffee making facilities, there's a jug and the cups here. And we have a um, ceiling fan and also air con. This is an executive room. We have a double bed here, and that's the fridge you can see. That's the TV and that's the shower and toilet. Aircons in all the rooms, as you can see, there's an aircon up here. If you're thinking about uh, coming to Daru, uh, there's an hotel in Daru, at Cross and Hotel. So, are uh, you willing to come to call us uh, and we'll book you in? Where I'm standing right now is the hotel conference and the dining room. That's where you have breakfast and uh, lunch and dinner. We host a conference all so that we can house about 60, 80 people, 80 heads to the, the area where I'm standing in. And also, um, we've got uh, 28 rooms, which uh, six of them are executive and uh, the rest of them are standard. We've got uh, 24 hours water, uh, TV cable that runs any time, and a standby power, which I'll pass around the power through the night when power is blackout. So, uh, we've got also dinghies and hire that can take you for a ride around Daru and also seeing the good side of the fishing at the Great Barrier Reef. Um, also, we've got the by the back area, which you can see on the other side, 
which uh, if you want to be have a good time, so you can have it at the back. So also the lip pad right at the back where the chopper can land and uh, closer to the room. So if you want to come to Daro, don't hesitate to call us and let us book you in at the cross door. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the tour of Crow's Nest Hotel and a glimpse of Daru Island. A very big thank you to all the staff at Crow's Nest Hotel, all the mothers and aunties there. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Very much appreciated. Travel with House and Home is one way we showcase our beautiful country. And if you think your place or province needs to be showcased and heard, please let us know. Especially small cottages and hotels in and around Papua New Guinea, Go to our Facebook page and let us know if you want us to feature your hotel and we would gladly feature it for you on Travel with House and Home. Unfortunately, that's all we have for you on Travel with House and Home. Not to worry, join us again next time as we bring and show you more places and hotels in Papua New Guinea that's on your calendar for your next travel agenda. Until next time, I'm Godwin Eki. Thanks for your company. Soboyawo to the people of Daru Island and a good night to Papua New Guinea. I will leave you with a minute highlight of Daru. Safe travel. See you then. Now last week on Animal Place, Teresa featured Dog Pound in Port Mosby and we had the chance to see how dogs are taken care of at the Dog Pound in Gardens. Now for tonight's edition, Teresa will feature RSPCA once again, so check it out. Hi, this is Animal Plus and thank you for joining me. Previously, we've been looking at Papua New Guinea's most amazing and unique wildlife at the Port Mosby Nature Park. Big thanks to Mr. Bebe and the team for devoting your time to educate our fellow citizens of Papua New Guinea on animal conservation. Well, for now, we've decided to visit RSPCA. These are the people who also have, have the same passion for animal well-being. They'll be giving us some ideas on responsible pet ownership, including health checks and general day-to-day -day care. So join me on discovering RSPCA. I couldn't see a 
Hi, uh, I'm Berlin Libiandaya. I'm the veterinary surgeon of uh, RSPCA TNG. Uh, we're going to be doing some updates on some of our puppies. So we'll be giving them tablet for deworming, and then we're going to be giving them injection for tick control and uh, heartworm prevention at the same time. Uh, we're going to be using some donated stuff uh, at this stage for deworming, and we're going to be using an ivermectin uh, for, for the injection. Uh, ivermectin, we're using the noromectin uh, at this point, but there's also an Ivomec brand and the uh, Bomectin brand and, and some other brands in the market. Okay, now what we're going to do is uh, look in our system and basically check which puppies needs uh, updates. And then I'll advise my nurse to, to bring those puppies in. Uh, okay, so Annie, we're going to be doing judge and justice first. So these are the puppies taken from the kennel. So these are Judge and Justice. So after from the kennel, we need to get their weight so we can determine how much medicine to give them. So we have Judge at 2.1 and Justice at 3.4 kilogram. And we have these tablets here. So we're going to be giving them one tablet each. Uh, one tablet is good for a 5 kilogram dog or puppy. And Swanee, help for the other one. So show straight up. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Swallow. No, you have to swallow it, not spit it out. And there you go. Okay, now we're gonna be computing for their tick prevention. So it's basically based on the weight. Okay, so judge first. Which one is judge? This one? Okay. So this is the ivermectin injection. We're using this for tick and heartworm prevention. So it goes underneath their skin. So that one is done. And we'll do the other one. Head to compute again. Okay, and judge. So just make sure we disinfect the skin that we're gonna be injecting on. Make sure we don't get any infection. And we're done. So we have just done their regular deworming and uh, heartworm prevention and tick control at the same time. So the other important thing as well is to do their vaccination. Uh, vaccination should start at five to six weeks of age, and then we have to repeat it at three weeks interval for two more shots. Uh, the last vaccination should be done at 12 to 12 weeks of age or older before you go on a once a year. So for the deworming that we just did, it should be started as early as two weeks old, repeated at four weeks old, and then you can do monthly until six months old, then at least every three months for, for older dogs. For the heartworm prevention, it should be done monthly, starting at eight weeks of age. 
And if there's no heartworm prevention for the past three months, we do have to collect blood and test the puppy or dog for heartworm to make sure that they're clear before we start the heartworm prevention. So first we check on our system which puppies are due. And then I ask the nurses to fetch them at the kennel. After, uh, after getting them from the kennel, they have to weigh the puppies. Because we important is to weigh them because we need their weights to make sure we give the proper dosage of the dewormer and the tick and the heartworm control. So after weighing, that's where we actually give them their medication. So now you know RSPCA has all the answers that you need to keep your pet happy, safe, and healthy. And if you need a fairy companion, give them a call or head on to Waigani Drive, Kunai Street, where they are located. I'm Theresa Miria. Thanks for joining me and keep an eye on Animal Plus. See you next time. Goodbye. Thank you RSPCA for your ongoing support towards protecting and ensuring the safety of all domestic and native animals of Papua New Guinea. Welcome back viewers. Now to close up our show for tonight, we have as usual Mila for more healthy living with Mila. Let's see what Mark and Mila has prepared for us tonight. Hi viewers, I'm Marco Nagina and welcome to another edition of Healthy Living with Mila. Tonight the lovely Mila Nash will run us through the best ways you can make most out of your workouts. And remember viewers, the key of achieving your goal is intensity. Whatever type like class or exercise that we do, such as the CrossFit in training. And you don't necessarily have to go onto a gym equipment like treadmills, rowing machines or X training machines, not at all. For weight loss, you need to learn how to exercise through the proper form. And that can challenge your body to burn fat and get fit. And that you can do with the high intensity training. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to reach and slump, okay? When you slump, guys, down. Right down. Squat. Okay. Ready? And go, 30 seconds. Perfect, excellent. Beautiful. Slumming down, slumming down. Shh. When you slum, automatic, the same as you are you're squatting. Good one. Keep going, guys. And leave your ball down, and here you go. Keep going guys, go, 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 go. 20 seconds. Yep. Good one. Five, four, three, two, and grab your ball. Okay, here you go. Back lunges and down and up, down and up. As soon as you slump, you lunge, okay? So, up, bring your legs back and down and in, down. Okay, ready? Five, four, three, two, and go. Good. Four, three, two, and change legs now. 
guys. Change legs. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two. How's that? Good Friday. Now, guys, find a park. Those who have not tried this one yet, this is what we call supposedly a towel tag. Okay, the, you will be tagged with a with a belt, and what you're going to focus on is you is squat and lean back. And now the person who is going to uh, in front of you is your resistance. Okay, <laughs> now you can do it as intensity as you can. You can do it as slow as you can. Okay. Go, go, fast as you can. Go, 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 go. Back to Muna. Go, go. Yes, more, 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 don't try. This is, you're working out, you're working out. Go. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm going to pass the ball to Mark. Look at my back, I don't slouch. <laughs> Bring yourself back, it is like you're doing a deadlift. Okay, and Mark will pass it right over. Uh, there you go, yes. Ready? And go. Down. Down. Up. Down. Up. Good. Here you go. Down. Up. Good. And mark. Go. Okay. That's it, guys. Okay. The next one, guys. The first lot here, they're going to use this ladder. Okay, so what you're going to do, guys, is in, out, okay? Just continue and fast as you can. This is your last, last set. Go, go, go. We're going to do a different exercises. That is, it will, um, so, uh, they call it super set exercise. What's a superset exercise? For example, you are targeting your bicep, the other one, you are targeting your tricep, okay? But we will do it all functional exercise, okay? Like uh, you are doing a squatting, and then the other one is doing a lunging, okay? Now, find your partner. What you can do here is you step up, or you can just jump and squat, okay? And down, jump or squat, okay? The person that will be here, you're going to do a split lunges or reverse lunges. Extend and down. Be sure you sit. Not this way, nor that. Okay, nor slouching. Back straight, sit on your back. Your legs, your heels should not be in. It should be right. Vertical, straight, okay? Flex your, your toe. Side lunge. Side lunge, side lunge, and throw. Okay? The same thing. Side lunge, side lunge, side lunge, and throw. Okay? A hip lift. Don't drop your toes. Don't drop your heels on the bench. Maintain it up and push and down. Push and down. Okay? The partner is going to do a crunches, but not crunches this way. Avoid that, that's a wrong crunches. So what you're going to do, you sit as high. Okay?
Thanks, Mila, for that. Join her and Matt next week for more Healthy Living with Mila. Unfortunately, our time has finally caught up with us, my good friends. But before we go, just a few reminders. Now, Vocal Fusion Season 2 Grand Final is this Sunday and will be airing live, so stay tuned to MTV for that. If you have recipes that you would like us to do on Cooking with House and Home, do let us know on our Facebook page and also anything we travel on House and Home, anything you want us to feature, especially hotels and cottages. And if you haven't purchased a ticket for the Pacific Games, please do buy yourself a ticket because you do not want to miss out. And more coming up next week on House and Home. Well, that's it from me and the House and Home team. Until next time, I'm Godwin Eki. It's goodbye for now. It's all about the better man for your life.